What's up friends, fellow card collectors, Card Obvious here, and it's time to do another binder for our end of year binder review. Uh, last two videos focused on football, we are now switching over to baseball as we look through the binder of my favorite team, which is the Atlanta Braves. So this is Braves binder number one. I have two of these binders. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and dive right into it. Okay, starting out we have my oldest Braves card, which is a 1975 Rod Gilbreth. I would say this is my oldest Braves card, but I do have a Hall of Famer uh, Braves card that's older. But you'll see that this uh, binder and the other Braves binder has no Hall of Famers. Um, this is all just Braves cards of players that aren't in the Hall of Fame, at least not yet, you know. Mr. Dale Murphy here. Not sure if he's ever going to get in. I'm sure Veterans Committee may at one point put uh, the Murph in, uh, but we'll see. So here we got Rod Gilbreth. We got a 76 SSPC um, Max Leon, Bob Horner rookie from 79. Dale Murphy from 80. Uh, 81 Dale Murphy right here. Um, this card's also from 1980. 82 Bob Horner. 82 Future Stars with uh, Bedrosian and Butler. Here's 83 Fleer, Ken Daly, uh, some 83 Tops here, Bob Walk, Terry Harper, Randy Johnson, not the pitcher, 84 Glenn Hubbard, 84 Dale Murphy with McMurtry, Picaroba, Gene Garber, McMurtry, then here we got 85 Donruss, Slim Barker, uh, Jeff Deadman, 85, 85 Donnie Moore, 85 Chris Chambliss, this is the Leaf version, um, and then we got 85 Tops here, Falcone, Ramirez, uh, 86 Fleer, Bob Horner, uh, 86 Donruss, uh, Highlights, Bob Horner, um, 87 Fleer, Zane Smith, 87 Donruss, Dale Murphy down there at the bottom, Andres Thomas, Bob Horner, uh, then we're 87 Tops, Billy Sample, Alwine Moreno, Thomas, Acker, McMurtry, Dale Murphy, Zane Smith, Chuck Tanner, Burkfell, Horner, and Hubby Hubbard, then 88 Fleer, one of my least like sets uh kevin kaufman um murphy and keith hernandez paul runge or rungi and then we're at 88 donruss glenn hubbard uh when i was a kid i saw a lot of 88 donruss uh dale murphy because the packs are cheap um ozzy virgil king griffey jr or king griffey senior excuse me david palmer rick mahler gerald perry uh blouser gantz murphy um, there's score up here, uh, Deion James, Benedict Acker, uh, Burkfeld, Chuck Tanner, Puleo, Albert Hall, Austin Mocker, Deion James, 88s, this is all 88 tops, uh, Ken Griffey Sr., Jeff Dedman, uh, Jim Bover, Jim Acker, Dave Palmer, uh, Bruce Benedict, Ozzy Virgil, 89 Fleer, um, Ozzy Virgil down here, I'm not sure why this one isn't up here, uh, before the Fleer, I yeah, just... Put it in the wrong spots. It is what it is. Uh, 89 Donruss, Ron Gantz, uh, Tommy Gregg, Ozzy Virgil, um, Bever, Paleo, Deion James, Zane Smith, Mark Limpke, Anders Thomas. So you see Gant and Limpke, they're a huge part of the uh, Braves turnaround in the 90s where they became a baseball powerhouse. Here's Derek Lilliquist, Puleo. Um, Braves leaders, Dale Murphy. Dale Murphy was not part of that turnaround because uh, he was on the downside of his career at this point. Uh, but you had young stars like Ron Gantz. There's another Ron Gantz dream team. Um, there's Dale Murphy Ames. It's an oddball set right there. Ames 2020 Club. It was produced by Tops for Ames. I think Ames was a uh, department store, but uh, not in the area I was in. Um, we got 89 Upper Deck. See Upper Deck onto the scene here. Uh, Chuck Carey, Puleo. There's uh, 90 Fleer. Jerry Davis, Ron Gantz. Uh, over here you got Kelly Mann and Dave Hansen. Kelly Mann, Jeff Treadway, Mike Stanton. Was part of the big part of the Braves turnaround as well. Uh, Tony Castillo, Mark Limpke, David Justice rookie card. Of course, David Justice is a, definitely a fan favorite. Uh, shout out to Truth Be Told. Uh, Gerald Perry, Odeby McDowell, there's another Mike Stanton rookie. 
uh, Kelly Mann, another David Justice rookie year. Is Tyler Houston? He was supposed to be like a the next big catcher in the majors, but he didn't really pan out uh, for the Braves. Um, here's Steve Avery, rookie, of course, part of the early '90s Braves uh, rotation. Steve Avery, he was kind of the odd man out after um, Maddox came over. He had some injuries, lost some effectiveness. Um, here's '90 tops. Ed Whitehead, Andres Thomas, Bever, Pete Smith, Alvarez, Gerald Perry. You feel sorry for some of these guys. It's like, man, you were just a year off. Uh, <laughs> you're a year off uh, being part of the uh, Braves team of 91. There's Kent Merker, Steve Avery, uh, Jeff Treadway. There's a Ryan Klesko uh, minor league card here. And we're in 91 Fleer. Mike Bell, Jim Presley. Love this Lonnie Smith card. Um, Lonnie Smith was a big part of the Braves turnaround, too. He had a couple of really good seasons with the Braves um, he was a great bench guy uh, in that 91 season he actually had a pretty good uh, NLCS a lot of people remember him for his base running blunder in the World Series but Lonnie Smith actually had a it was a pretty good contributor for the Braves um, on that 91 team Ron Gantz Jeff Treadway Jeff Blauser uh, Greg Olson yeah, Merker of course here's a name most people know Francisco Cabrera never amounted much in his career, but uh, he did have one of the biggest hits in uh, in Braves history, at least in the 90s. Mark Grant, here's another Lonnie Smith, 91 Donruss. Um, David Justice, 91. Uh, Odeby McDowell, Andres Thomas, there's old man Charlie Liebrandt. He was very important because uh, he was the, the steady hand, I guess you could say, the old vet of the Braves rotation. That featured Avery, Glavin, and Smoltz. Uh, Lee Brandt was your veteran starter. Probably brought some stability. You know, you didn't ever want to see Charlie Lee Brandt out there. Because it was like, this dude was throwing fastballs in like the 84 mile per hour range. 85, <laughs> if I recall correctly. I mean, that was a long time ago. I just knew he didn't throw very hard. Even for in the 90s when a lot of pitchers were not going max effort. Here's a David Justice Award winner from 91. Kelly Mann. 91 Studio, Jeff Treadway. Here's a uh, Sean Ross. I don't know if he ever made it to the majors. Greenville, Greg Olson, Ron Gantt, Lonnie Smith. Here's a Steve Avery, uh, 91 rookies um, from Tops. And then Jeff Parrott, Andres Thomas, Steve Avery, Lemke, Lonnie Smith again, David Justice Cup card, Odeby McDowell, Jim Presley, Greg Olson, Kent Merker. Right here, Tommy Gregg Stadium Club. Here's a Ron Gant checklist from Upper Deck. Uh, Jimmy Kremers, Jim Presley, Ron Gant right there, David Justice. These two were just hitting back to back on the lineup, was really drew me into the Braves um, seeing those two hit. Andres Thomas, Charlie Liebrandt, Mike Heath. Shout out to Mike Heath. Um, Terry Pendleton, TP, of course, was the. Uh, very much the foundation of the 91 team. He won the, the MVP in 91. It was kind of controversial. Um, I think Barry Bonds could have won it again in 91. Um, I just think the fact the story of the Braves going worse to first is the reason Terry Pendleton won it. Uh, here is Klesko and Reggie Sanders. Uh, Ryan Klesko, Diamond Skills, Otis Nixon. Another big part of the 91 team. Uh, speed at the top of the order. Pretty good defense in center field. Pete Smith, TP, um, 92. Uh, Ultra here. David Justice, Terry Pendleton. 92 Donruss. Uh, another Lonnie Smith here. Here's a one celebrating their no hitter in 91 with uh, Pena, Alejandro Pena, uh, Kim Merker, and Mark Wallers. It was a combined no hitter. Um, Lonnie Smith again, Otis Nixon is a top prospect cards with Ryan Klesko on it. Also got <laughs> Rico Bronia who played for the Braves um, eventually and then uh, John Jaha. Here's a Keith Mitchell, Deion Sanders of course, Sid Bream there he is right there, Brian Hunter, Mark Lemke, here's a Deion Sanders in Wrigley Field making a catch, uh, Sid Bream again, Mark Lemke, David Justice. Uh, Deion Sanders primetime card man this card was I remember when I was in middle school this card was just like 
everybody wanted this card when I was in middle school. Dion and his Falcon Genie, you know, kind of running into uh, Dion and his Brave Genie. Pretty awesome card from a predictor. Mike Stanton, here's a Ron Gant making a throw from the seat of his pants. Here's a Javi Lopez rated rookie. Don't think that's considered a true rookie. Um, but Javi Lopez, one of those, you know, he was a solid catcher for the Braves, mainly an offensive catcher, though. Uh, Pinnacle Home Run Club. Uh, you can see how the light shines off of these. I love these cards. Uh, Ron Gant, David Justice, Mark Wollers, uh, David Justice, Alejandro Pena, Sid Bream. Uh, Deion Sanders, uh, Home Run Heroes from 93 Upper Deck. And then we got Stanton, Gant. Uh, here we got, uh, this is Classic. Um, Danville Braves, Andre King, Mike Kelly, uh, 94 Fleer, Jeff Blauser All-Stars. Um, Jeff Blauser Ultra, Ryan Klesko Leaf right here. Uh, Pinnacle, I think this is Pinnacle, isn't it? Yeah, Pinnacle, David Justice, uh, Cycle Insert from Score, David Justice. Here's a rookie prospect, Tony Tarasco. Um, if any of you remember the, what was what was the kid's name? The Yankees game uh, where the kid reached over the wall in the playoffs and caught the cheater home run. And obviously it was fan interference. The kid's hand was way over the wall. Um, the outfielder that was there to catch it for the Orioles was none other than Tony Tarasco. Uh, Mike Stanton, Steve Avery, there's another Tony Tarasco. Uh, Crime Dog, Fred McGriff, Opeachy. Um, huge pickup for the Braves. Huge, huge pickup for the Braves there when they traded for him. Um, definitely a Hall of Famer. Should be in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Don't know why he isn't yet. Dion, Stadium Club, uh, David Justice, Mickey Mantle, insert set David Justice, pretty cool card there. Um, Greg McMichael, this is the silver signature version. I don't know if you, you know, you can kind of see the foil signature right there. Collector's Choice Justice Bomb Squad, Fred McGriff. This actually has uh, Jose Canseco on the back of it. Long Ball Leaders, insert Fred McGriff. Uh, great Gloves, Marquise Grissom. Um, in case any of you are wondering who the center fielder was when the Braves won their... Uh, only World Series in Atlanta was Marquise Grissom. Here's a Marquise Grissom Leaf. Uh, headliners insert Fred McGriff here. 95 Fleer. Uh, some of these designs from Fleer just got absolutely crazy in the mid-90s. Um, here you see 95 Fleer. It's pretty wild. Um, Fleer. Uh, Marquise Grissom. Uh, we got Ultra Marquise Grissom. Got a lot of Marquise Grissom here. Uh, 95 Select. Grissom, 95 Select, uh, Ryan Klesko, TP here, 95 Tops. This thing is totally missing the corner. The whole corner got ripped off, but whatever. <laughs> uh, this one has Terrell Wade on it. I don't know if it's got any good rookies on it. doesn't look like it. Juan Acevedo, uh, Matt Arondo, and Eddie Priest. Um, 95 Tops, Steve Avery here, and the Grissom here, that's Bowman. Uh, Stadium Club, Ricky Picks, Ryan Klesko, uh, Greg McMichael here, Collector's Choice. There's a Klesko showing that powerful, sometimes out of control swing he had. Um, Fall Classic, Fred McGriff Dica here. Uh, this is a SP Silver Parallel, Marquise Grissom, uh, Platinum Power Die Cuts, Fred McGriff, another Grissom here, Leaf, David Justice. Javi Lopez, here's Jermaine Dye, limited rookies. Huge Jermaine Dye fan when he was a young player came along. I was so so mad when the um Braves let him go to the White Sox. Um Fred McGriff here. Jermaine Dye, 96 Fleer. Ryan Klesko, 96 Fleer. Here's a Leaf Metal, Marquise Grissom, Platinum Portraits, Leaf Metal Klesko. Uh Leaf Metal. Um David Justice, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Uh, Leaf Metal Platinum, Ryan Klesko, and the regular uh, Ryan Klesko. Leaf Metal, here's a Leaf Metal uh, Fred McGriff with those concentric circles. Such a weird set Leaf Metal was. Um, 96 Pinnacle Grissom. Score, Luis Polonia. 96 Select, David Justice, Grissom. Um, Grissom here, Summit. 
uh, Grissom Tops Chrome, regular Tops uh, Prospects with Steve Cox, Ibarra, Derek Lee's on this card. Ron Wright is the reason I have it in here because he's a Braves player, but this card, this rookie card is known for Derek Lee. Um, Bazooka, Grissom, Electric Choice Grissom here. Uh, Ronnie Billiard, another favorite player, Ronnie Billiard. He was a slick fielding shortstop. They would usually only bring him in late game. Every once in a while, he'd play a full game. He just he couldn't hit. Uh, wasn't a very good hitter, but one heck of a shortstop. Uh, here's another Marquise Grissom, 97 Fleer Grissom. This is my first Andrew Jones card, 97 Circa. Uh, here's a Jermaine Die Rookie Reflections, Jermaine Die Score. Uh, Grissom, Andrew Jones, uh, Keith Lockhart. Uh, another Grissom here. Uh, prospects with Wes Helms, uh, Bill Mueller, and Brad Seitzer. Uh, Bill Mueller probably is the star of this card. Wes Helms, <laughs> the, the one thing I remember about Wes Helms is uh, he threw a ball back to the mound and nobody on the mound was paying attention and it hit Chipper Jones in the ribs and injured him. Um, <laughs> that's what I remember about Wes Helms. Uh, John Leroy Bowman, first Bowman, don't recall the name at all. Uh Andrew Jones Predictor, here's Rock Solid Foundations insert, Ryan Klesko, Javi Lopez, the same insert set, Grissom, Upper Deck Tape Measure Titans, Andrew Jones, um, Walt Weiss, uh, I don't know, how many years Walt Weiss played for the Braves, only a couple years, he's now a coach on the Braves, uh, Galarraga, the big cat, here's some uh, gold medallions here, Walt Weiss, Tony Graffinino, Michael Tucker, um, hit the first home run at Turner Field, I remember that. Denny Nagel, Andres Galarraga, uh, Bruce Chin, this is Topps Chrome, Javi Lopez down here, Topps Chrome, and BJ Serhoff, BJ Serhoff. Uh, let's see, Ryan Langerhands, <laughs> what was funny, there used to be a group in the, uh, I want to say the early, mid-2000s that would dress up like different characters for different games, and they had the Ryan Langer hands, and they would dress up like like hands <laughs> in the stands and it was pretty crazy um i'm just galarraga upper deck legends um united nations card big cat galarraga andrew jones um another andrew jones here stick to it in this insert sets uh Fleur game time andrew jones uh Fleur premium andrew jones and Fleur ultra decade of dominance big cat andres galarraga all right, up here we got Fleer Ultra Insert Tomorrow Legends Under Jones, uh, 2001 Tops, uh, Galarraga, McGlinchey, Raphael Fercal, um, another great player to come up on the Braves system. The Braves farm system back then was just churning it out stars. You know, like you think about the Dodgers system nowadays, just like year after year after year, you just got these rookies coming out of the Dodgers system that are amazing players. The Braves system was like that back in the day. Just one after the other after the other. You had players coming out of the Braves farm system. You know, from starting with Chipper Jones, Ryan Klesko. You had those pitchers coming out. Actually, it probably started with Glavin, Smoltz, Justice. Um, and then you had players like Chipper Jones, Ryan Klesko, uh, Andrew Jones, Raphael Fercal, Jermaine Dye. You just had all these players just, just constantly being pumped out of the system. And that fell off in the uh, mid 2000s, but that was like the bread and butter of the Braves system. That's why they were able to to be on top for so long was just the amount of talent they would churn out of the minor league system. Here's another Wes Helms, uh, Marcus Giles, um, for Cal here, Gallery, Horatio Ramirez, Upper Deck. And then here we have Raphael for Cal. This is uh, 2000. What year is this? O2 uh Raphael Fercal. So like these early 2000s tops I'm just not familiar with. I wasn't collecting at this time. So I have trouble recognizing a lot of the sets from the early 2000s. I got back into the hobby in 07 and then was on and off from there. So a lot of the sets I do recognize were early 2000s definitely not. Um you can see there it's very sparse though. Uh we got you know 2001 2001 2002 and then um then you start seeing some some jumps here. You got 2002 Upper Deck World Series Heroes, and then 
uh, Leafs 2003 with Trey Hodges, Leaf Stadium Club, Adam LaRoche, um, and then you got 2005 Donruss, Andrew Jones, and then you're all the way up to uh, 2006 Bowman. So from here to here is four years, um, 2002, 2006. So there's a lot of gaps I could fill in uh, with Braves cards. Um, and then you jump three years to here is 2009, uh, Brian McCann, Opichi Blackboarder, Derek Lowe, uh, tax code card, you know, Escobar. And then we have uh, 2010 Braves franchise history card there. Uh, Jay Hay, tax code card. It's a rookie year uh, insert card there. Um, Brian McCann, code card. Troy Gloss, Billy Wagner, Jair Jurgens, Bowman Heritage, uh, Kyle Kubica autograph from Elite. This one's numbered out of. 865 you got a Derek Lowe diamond anniversary down here Craig Kimbrell tops chrome rookie card uh, Tim Hudson Alan and Ginter uh, Brandon Beachy 87 design mini Michael Bourne chrome purple um, Jason Hayward Alan and Ginter insert Martin Prado archives uh, Angelton Simmons Bowman rookie Tommy Hansen upper deck uh, here's Upper Deck Team Heroes Gold Border, Dale Murphy. Uh, I thought this was numbered, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, Gold Border, Dale Murphy, Dale Murphy, Hometown Heroes, Dale Murphy. You see some more Hometown Heroes here. Steve Avery, Ron Gantz, um, Evan Gaddis, rookie, Chris Medlin, Mark Lemke, Jay Hay, Bob Horner. Even have a triple play card in there, Freddie Freeman. And last but not least, a pinnacle, Evan Gaddis. Eloso Blanco rookie card. So that does it for binder number one uh, for the Atlanta Braves. Uh, hope you enjoyed this journey. Um, we started in the mid 70s and ended up around 2013. So when you next uh, see a binder video, it will be Braves binder number two, which will be more modern cards, which I have a bunch of Braves modern cards um, from like. 2013 to 2020 uh, really blows this side of the collection away, you know, because it's easier to pick up the modern stuff than it is the uh, the older stuff. Sure, you know, like the junk wax era, you can get that stuff for pennies. Um, but like I said, I don't chase. Uh, I can very easily go and complete the you know team sets from the 80s uh, by being targeted, but I don't click that way. Like I said, I'm just a go with the flow collector. Uh, like to buy things here and there and, and be surprised when I do find something I can add to my binders. That's just the way I enjoy collecting. So I uh, appreciate everybody watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Um, I really appreciate all of you uh, but hitting that like and subscribing and commenting below. You know, helps, uh, I can I say below and I'm pointing away from you. Uh, below. <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to do with this uh, camera angle um, but yeah it feeds the YouTube algorithm and it and, you know, keeps my videos turning out there so I thank you all remember you can only control two things it's your thoughts and your actions so stay positive keep filling up the binders keep collecting keep taking care of each other and I will catch you all later and if I don't see you in a live stream or anything like that have a wonderful wonderful holiday season peace